This morning, we're also learning new details about what caused a tragic car accident in Johnson County on Tuesday. Six people were killed after a head on crash. All of them members of the same family. Our Megan Mitchell joins us from Fort Worth and Megan. We spoke to some of those family members and they're obviously heartbroken about this. Yes, they are Cleo and all three survivors from this crash are lucky to be alive this morning. They have very serious injuries and we know that two of them are being treated here at Texas Health Harris Methodist. And so right now we are aware that 28 year old driver Rashiel Berry was returning from a family visit to Fossil Rim and Glen Rose driving along US 67 in Johnson County. The Texas Department of Public Safety said another vehicle entered Berry's lane in a no passing area, hitting that vehicle head on. We know that four adults and two kids in that car were killed. All relatives of the driver from Georgia with the oldest having roots in India. Now those who knew Barry say that he was living out his dream and he had many more things he wanted to accomplish. Loved ones are in disbelief. Just in a one family, they lost five members. It's like, uh, I don't even know what to say on that. I really don't even know what to say on that. I can't digest him. He's no more. And you know, they are working with the Embassy of India right now to try and get some of those bodies back to their home. We also know that the man who is fighting for his life in that car, Lokesh, they are hoping that he pulls through. And of course, we'll keep you updated on this story with any new details here in WFAA. Back to you, Cleo. All right, Megan, thank you. You know, that deadly crash happened on Highway 67 in the middle of a Tuesday afternoon. And that stretch of highway is known for crashes for years. People who live in Johnson and Somerville counties have complained that there's just no room for error. TxDOT is now preparing to widen 67 to four lanes, adding a wide grass median that should prevent head on crashes. But neighbors say poor driving is more to blame for the crashes than the road itself. This is 65 and uh, I run 70, so I'm guilty. Uh, by five miles an hour, but there's a lot of people passing me. So I don't see the highway patrolman as often as I used to see. Well, Snyder there also says this isn't the road to test or leave unattended.